What's up everyone and thank you for joining me again today. And if it's your first time here, thank you for checking this out. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy today's video so that you never miss a future SQL Server video. And today's video is gonna be about joining on columns with null values in them. And that may not sound too complicated, but because nulls are kind of the special value inside SQL Server, it's a little less straightforward than you may think. And so today we're gonna to kind of go over two different solutions for joining on columns that contain null values. One of them, which is maybe a less efficient version that you should be aware of so that you don't do it. And then the second solution will be the more uh, better performing option. And so in today's example, we're gonna be looking at these two tables, account and account type. There are two fundamental design problems with these tables. The first of which is that the key uh, that we join on between these tables is a natural composite key. Basically, it's we're gonna have to join on the year opened column and the account type column. I mean, the reason I say that that's a problem is because I don't really like natural keys. I don't like composite keys. It just makes the queries more verbose and I, it's not as clear. And that's not as serious of a problem as the second issue, which is the fact that the account type column allows nulls, right? Null is kind of the default account type and it's valid. And that's what we're gonna have to deal with when we're joining on both the year open and the account type field. So if we want to join these two tables together to be able to get the descriptions for each user's account type, we write a simple join statement, nothing special, but you'll notice in the results that there are no rows that contain null account type values. And this is because SQL Server won't allow you to join on null values. The rows that have values in the account type column join no problem with their inner join, but the rows that contain nulls just don't get joined at all, they get filtered out. And so one solution that I'm not really gonna get into, right, would be fixing the root cause data problem here, right? Having this default null value as a valid value for account type doesn't make things easy. It'd be better if we actually had a default value for account type that was something like A or B or whatever instead of just null. So while fixing our default null values to be some other value I think would be the ideal solution, if we can't fix the table data, how can we get this inner join to work on these null values? So the first way we can get this query to join on nulls successfully is to wrap our account type fields with the isNull function, or we could use coalesce. Basically, when we're joining on account type, we wanna to check to see if the value in that field is null, we're gonna convert it to some other value. And in this case, I converted it to a backwards apostrophe or you know that accent character. And while this solution will get our query to run successfully and our result set will have the, the missing null rows present, it's not a great solution for two reasons. So the first problem is that that character that we're converting our nulls to can't be present in the existing data. Not only can it not be present in the existing data, it can't be present in any future data, otherwise our business logic on these joins, on these account types will be wrong. And the second, maybe more important problem is that our query performance is gonna severely suffer because we have to check every single row for a null value and then convert it if it is a null to some other value, that's gonna prevent any kind of index seeks from happening. Now in this particular query, right, it doesn't matter, we're gonna be doing a full scan anyway because uh, we're joining all of our rows, there's no other filters, but in other scenarios, adding this is null or a coalesce function to convert these nulls is gonna make our query non-sargeable and SQL Server isn't gonna be able to seek on an index. So while this is null approach is very clear as to what the logic is doing, uh, because of its performance implications, I don't like using it. A better solution is to rewrite our on conditions to join on our account types when a value is present or check for null values in both tables. And while this syntax is a little bit more verbose, it will make the query more efficient because it's gonna allow SQL Server to still seek on our indexes to get only the data it needs and not have to scan row by row converting any values to, uh, that are null to another character. On large data sets, this will no doubt give us better performance. And this second solution is my preferred way of doing this type of join on null values because of how efficient it is. And while there are some other slight variations you can make uh, to this query to achieve the same result, the key thing to remember is to not use some kind of function or do something that's gonna prevent SQL Server from doing an index seek. The last thing you wanna have happen is for SQL Server to do a row by row is null computation on a billion row table. That's just, that's not good. 
So thanks for sticking around this week. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thanks.